Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're going to learn how to solve problems that use Snell's Law and the refraction equation combined together. So we have one learning goal. You should be able to calculate the angle of incidence, the angle of refraction, the index of refraction of the first medium, the index of refraction of the second medium, the speed of light in the first medium, or the speed of light in the second medium when given the other required variables. So let's just review the refraction equation. So n equals c over v, where n is the index of or the index of refraction of the medium, c is the speed of light in the vacuum, and v is the speed of light in the medium. And just a reminder that speed of light in a vacuum is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. You won't always be given that information in the question, so that's a good value to memorize. And then we have Snell's Law. The original format of Snell's Law is written in white there. Um, so this shows how we relate uh, light that's traveling from the first medium into the second medium, where N1 is the index of refraction in the first medium, theta1 is the angle of incidence, N2 is the index of refraction in the second medium, and theta2 is the angle of refraction. And you can see in the different equations below that, the equation has been rearranged so that each of the individual variables are isolated. And like we saw before, you're welcome to just memorize the rearranged equations, or you can memorize the initial equation and rearrange it each time that you solve a problem. So let's take a look at how we would use these two equations combined together. And just a reminder, you should have already watched the video on Snell's Law and the video on the refraction equation before attempting to combine these two together in the lesson today. So if you haven't seen those videos, please watch those ones first. I'll put a link in the description box below. So light travels from acetone, which has an index of refraction of 1.36 into diamond at an angle of incidence of 39.62 degrees. The angle of refraction is 21.00 degrees. What is the speed of light in diamond? So lots of information here. Let's find out what we have. So acetone has an index of refraction of 1.36. And it says light travels from acetone. So this would be our N1 into diamond at an angle of incidence of 39.62 degrees and then we have the angle of refraction of 21.0 degrees. What is the speed of light in diamonds? So let's write out our givens. So we know that our N1, because the light started in acetone, is 1.36, and the angle of incidence, which is theta1, is equal to 39.62 degrees, and then our angle of refraction, which is theta2, is 21.00 degrees. And then the required is the speed of light in diamond. And since diamond is the second medium, I'm going to call it V2. So what is V2? So let's analyze this question here. So in order to find speeds, we would use the equation n equals c over v. Now the problem with that is we don't have the, in the n, the index of refraction, of the second medium. n equals c over v all has to be related to that same medium. And in this case, the second medium is diamond. So we want to know the speed of light in diamond. We need to know the index of refraction of diamond in order to solve that. However, we are given information about n1, theta1, and theta2. Using those three pieces of information, we can use Snell's Law to find n2. Then once we have n2, we can solve for v2. So let's start with our uh, Snell's Law here. n1 sine theta1 equals n2 sine theta2. And we can rearrange this equation to solve for n2. So n2 equals n1 sine theta1 over sine theta2. So let's substitute and solve. So this is here, this is the first part of the equation where we're trying to solve for n2. So substitute and solve. n2 equals, our n1 is 1.36 sine theta 1 is 39.62 degrees over theta sine theta 2. So sine theta 2 is 21.00 degrees. 
And if we calculate this, we end up with 2.42. So our index of refraction in diamond is 2.42. Now I'm going to switch the screen here, so you'll lose these values, so make sure you write this down before I move on to the next slide. So now we need to find V, so we'll use our refraction equation. So our analysis here, the refraction equation is N equals C over V, and if we rearrange that equation for V, V equals C over N. And so now we can substitute and solve, and this part here is finding V. So if we substitute and solve, we end up with V equals 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second over, and N is the one that we just calculated. We're choosing the one that we just calculated because we're trying to find the speed of light in diamond, so we need to use the index of refraction of diamond, which is the one that we just calculated. So if we do this math, we end up with 1.24 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So now we can write a sentence. The speed of light speed of light in diamond is 1.24 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So this is how we would solve a problem that uses a combination of the refraction equation and Snell's law. So, oh, we have different learning goals here. I think I made a little typo. Uh, but we want to be able to calculate the index of refraction of either medium, the speed of light in either medium, the angle of incidence, or the angle of refraction when given the other required values. If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.